For the past five years, Rhonda Van Zanti has been holding an investigation of her own. She has spent countless hours investigating, researching, and contacting local officials about Shamus Technologies' failure to comply with permit regulations. It was a real hazard to my own family, my neighborhood, and the town of Eddyville. Van Zanti previously told KTVO in September of 2021 the Eddyville community has had to put up with terrible odors and hazardous smoke coming into their homes from the facility. When you can't open your windows, you can't hang out your laundry, you can't plan for outdoor activities because you don't know what direction the wind is going to be in on that particular day. And the smoke coming from this facility when it's in non-compliance is a 24-7 constant. After a lengthy process, Shamness Technologies permit has now been revoked after its property owner Gary Shamness withdrew his appeal before a scheduled hearing Tuesday, April 19th. The smoke and the fires were not kept under control because the facility was so full of waste, solid waste. When there was fires, our local volunteer fire department could not enter the facility to get to the fires to put them out. Van Zanti told KTVO she has been working with the Iowa Department of Natural Resources. In September of 2021, regulators found the site was in violation of 12 Iowa laws since August of 2021. Some of the violations included runoff pollution and failure to properly dispose of waste. So at this time, he has no permit to operate. The facility is closed and um, According to the administrative order, all the solid waste on and off of the pad has to be removed. Everything has to be cleaned up. The compost facility now has a 30-day window to come up with a cleanup plan that is approved by the DNR. Now we want our neighborhood back. We want clean air to breathe. We want clean water for our livestock. And we want this land over here completely restored to the way it was before. Reporting from Eddieville, Leslie Molina, K2VO.